Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a video on how to set up your chassis balance left and right. Um, this is an important uh, step to do in setting up your car because if you don't have your chassis balanced properly left and right, you'll encounter handling problems with your car. So you want to eliminate uh, as many handling issues as possible. And the first thing I do is I balance the chassis left and right. Um, the way you balance the chassis left and right is you move your electronics around. Now, your heaviest component, which is your battery, will obviously be on one side for most cars. And then your second heaviest component is your motor, and the motor is obviously fixed on the other side. So you can't really do too much with those components. You can move the battery uh, out a little bit or inwards a little bit, depending on your situation. But you're going to be using your speed control, your receiver, and you know even your fan if you have one. Um, but there are some situations, and there's no problem doing it, using lead weight to balance it out. Um, so when you are picking your electronics, you want to keep in mind the weight of the electronics that you're going to use. Uh, there's people that pick uh, batteries that have such massive capacities that it just is too much on the one side and the electronics can't compensate for the weight. So you really want to be conscious uh, of you know what electronics you're using and how much they weigh. So what I do is I think, okay, well my battery weighs X amount of grams and my speed control weighs this, my receiver weighs this, my servo weighs that, and my motor and my fan. And I try to pick electronics that help to balance each other out left and right. Okay, now next, when it comes to uh, balancing the chassis, underneath here, you can't really see it, is uh, huddy balancing pins, which uh, have been located into the uh, underside of the chassis. Uh, most manufacturers have uh, balancing pin holes underneath the chassis. They're just little tiny holes uh, that uh, have been uh, drilled through. First and foremost, you want to make sure that your surface that you're working on is level. So right now, the surface is level. The pins are mounted in the chassis correctly. Uh, sometimes uh, you'll accidentally put the pin in like a, a socket head and you don't realize it and all of a sudden the balance is off. So you want to just make sure, double check. Uh, in this video, I have the tires on because uh, it's just demonstration reasons. Um, excuse me, just for demonstration. Uh, but ideally, take the tires off because, you know, the tires are not same weight uh, left and right. I bet most of these tires here are probably not the exact same weight. So take the tires off and uh, so you just have... Uh, the axles and so on. So you just have the electronics and the chassis, no tires. Um, so right now uh, I have the chassis on the pin and what you can see is it's just rocking back and forth. Now what you want to do is try to find the sweet spot. There we go. I found the sweet spot. Well, it's already, the chassis is already balanced so I don't really have to uh, go through much. but. Uh, if your chassis is, you know, falling off to the side like so, well, obviously your battery's uh, too heavy. So what you could do is maybe move it in a little bit and that would help out with the balance. Ideally, you want to keep the battery, the most heaviest um, component, closest to the center line. And you can move your electronics out a little bit uh, to help with uh, attaining the balance. Now, another thing to keep in mind is... The motor. Now, every manufacturer has a different motor, and every motor weighs differently. Yes, you'll have some motors that will weigh the exact same, but the way that they're constructed, the weight balance is actually off. Uh, for example, the G-Force motor here uh, that I have mounted, uh, that probably has a nice uniform balance, but a motor like uh, uh, Orca TX, the weight is more situated on the inward side. So you have to take that in consideration. Uh, if you're changing out motors during a race meet, you wanna make sure that you know uh, what the balance is like for that motor. So you wanna just keep that in mind. Um, 
in batteries. Say that you have two brands of batteries. I have this uh, Trion 6000, and then I have this guy here, which uh, I forget the manufacturer. Well, excuse me while I fix this. All right, so let me just find the balance hole. Okay. All right, oh, the pin up front has moved. All right. It can be tricky sometimes. All right, so we'll put this other battery in and let's check the balance. All right, now you can see the electronic side is heavier than this battery here. So when it comes down to it, if you're running two different manufacturers batteries, you want to make sure that those batteries are A, of equal weight, and B, since this guy is light, maybe add some lead weight to make sure it's the same weight as your heavier guy here. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know and uh, I can uh, help you out with anything else. Okay, bye-bye.